Well, I got sick for about seven months of my senior year, and so I took a break from completely everything. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to swim again. I've been swimming since I was four, and it's time to take a break. Um, and then I like missed being an athlete when I was at Chico, and so I think it was at my second semester there, I tried out for the club polo team. And then turned out I didn't want to play polo, but I missed swimming, so that kind of like sparked my getting back into it. It was, it was rough, um, I will admit that. And I was not a butterfly or coming out of high school. I was actually a backstroker, and now I don't even swim backstroke. <laughs> so it's all right. I mean, I, I definitely have taken a big step from high school till now. So contact with my old club coach, Billy, and um, talked to him a little bit. And he was like, yeah, well, these are the times you have to hit if you want to get back into college swimming and da-da-da-da. I was like, okay, cool. So I kind of already had a plan set into it because I knew I missed swimming and I wanted to get back into it. But, and then, so I didn't, D3 was an option for me. I didn't want to go there. I wanted a higher competition. And so I compiled a little binder of, like, all the different schools I was looking at to transfer to that had swimming. And then I, like, set my goal times, the times I wanted to hit, at like this certain month and where I should be in my training and there's kind of <laughs> basically I mean I've always loved the Bay Area and I needed a change I wanted something I, I didn't really want to go to SoCal I, just, I don't like LA <laughs> and so um, yeah I really like the Bay Area and I like how East Bay is so close to everything like Hayward itself like everything's about 30 minutes out and so it's not too bad. It's like right in the middle of everything. And I really like that. And then at the time, I was a business major. And so our business program here is great. So that kind of all compiled Didn't into I, it too. When I got here, I have always butted heads on where I should be at in my training because I, be I want to be the best, do the best I can, that kind of thing. If I'm not going as fast as I want to be, I'm not good enough in my head. And then it's always like, mm, okay, one step at a time. Like you're not going to drop three seconds in one race, you know? And before, I, I was so used to that because I was a rec swimmer, and so I, my times weren't that fast, so I was used to dropping a lot of time. Um, and so Ben and I really butted heads on that. But conference was great. I dropped seven seconds in my 200 fly. I never really swam in 200 fly before. We talked about swimming. it a little bit over summer. Like once I got my cut, Ben came to the meet over the summer. It was in Santa Clara. Um, and then at our welcome back barbecue, he got mine and Miriam's parents together and asked if we wanted to go and if they'd be willing to support it. And I said, yeah, for me, I have to remember that they're people too. And that's what I kind of, like, you know, they're just doing everything that we're doing. They have a better drive, I guess to say, um, to be the best. Um, and I mean, it's just a great experience because you are competing with the top swimmers in the nation. I mean, it's great and I loved it. And um, yeah, I, I don't know, maybe, after seeing Nathan Adrian's like race when he swam in the 50 free that day, he went an 18, an 18.5. Oh, and like that's the, the best race for him yet in his career. And so I guess after that I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's just, it's a really humbling experience to just walk among them. Or, like I shared a lane with um, uh, Colin Jones and I was like, huh. Cool. <laughs> um, I try not to let others influence me because I'll get distracted and it throws me off my game and that kind of thing. And so I, I do best when I'm happy. And so if I think about, oh God, like they don't know me, uh, uh, and like it kind of it throws me off. And then even when I am a, like a favorite, I guess uh, it it's ultimately my race. That's how I think of it. I don't really pay attention. Yes, I'm going to race people next to me, obviously. I pay attention in the water. But coming up to it, I just, I don't know. I, I, don't, want, I don't like to think too much about it because I'm going to psych myself out. And then it goes well, down. I mean, I think for me personally, I know I can do it because after, let's see, this summer was about 10 months of training under my belt. And I came a second and a half off the Olympic trial cuts. So that was pretty cool. I didn't, I, I, it was always my goal, and Ben was like, okay, well, don't be too upset with yourself, and da da da, and then it happened, and he was like, oh, okay, well, maybe we should change how we view things. I was like, yes. 